If you can't beat them, join them. Use one of the most popular formations in the game to go ahead and shred your opponent. Coming up next. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about one of the most popular formations in the game. Um, I have a Patreon and a subscriber that uh, likes using the uh, Arizona Cardinals playbook. Uh, and when I asked him what type of formations he ran, he didn't mention the gun split close, which was shocking to me because this is by far one of the best formations in the game and it has been for maybe four or five years now uh, and it's extremely difficult to stop and it's got a lot of plays that people have been using for years and if you are using a, a, a playbook that has the gun split close you got to jump into it and in the Arizona Cardinals there is a particular play that I really like and you can find it in, in, in some other playbooks too. And the play I like to use is the fullback inside uh, as one of my base plays. Now, you can only find this in the Cardinals, the Falcons, and the 49ers. And why why this play is so special that allows you to have, to, to have a running attack on this pass-orientated uh, formation, which is the gun split close. So it really opens up your offense where you can run the ball and pass it. Uh, it's a very effective play. All right, so one of the adjustments I like to do with this particular playbook is I like to go ahead and take my tight end and put him in the slot position. And the reason why what this, do, what this does is it gives your, your opponent a 21 personnel look. So he's going to see two wide receivers, one tight end. He's, he's going to see two running backs. So he's going to think it's just a standard uh, uh, a formation. And if you sprinkle in some standard formations in your scheme, this is going to be very hard for him to actually prepare for. Um, the base audibles on this is the play action O, the fullback, uh, the play action fullback slide, which is the F slide. Uh, one of the best plays in the game, which is the close halfback wheel. The halfback wheel play is a devastating play, easy to make reads and easy to get the ball down the field. And the other play uh, is uh, out of the box for the Cardinals is a slot close. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and switch that out with scat. And I, there's a reason I do that. Now, out of the hole, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and pick the fullback inside. Now, what I like about this particular play is that it actually you've got the, the ability to attack your opponent with a run uh, off to the left with the fullback inside, and you also have the ability to attack your opponent with a run off to the right. So uh, it gives you some, some versatility, uh, versatility with the running game, which a lot of times most people like to pass out of this play. They don't necessarily like to run the ball. So uh, that's, what th that's what I do like about this particular play is that if you get the blocking, you're going to be able to go and take those balls to the outside and run the ball right up the middle. So right now uh, I'm playing against all Madden, and I try to do that just so I can tighten up the passing lanes, make good reads. But uh, as you can see, if I get past one of these guys and I don't get any kind of block sheds, you're going to do this with a run. So I would go in the lab, play around with it. You'll see that you're going to be able to go and brox, uh, uh, break some pretty good runs against your opponent with these two running plays. Now, um, the, two play the three plays I'm going to be using in this scheme is going to be scat, uh, close halfback wheel on play action slide. Now I'm going to use open field concept as far as my reads are concerned. I'm not going to try to uh, try to pre-plan um, the type of defense I'm going to be going against. But you can see the defenders are all pushed back. This is probably some kind of a cover two shell or cover or a cover four shell. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the close halfback wheel. Now you can leave this play stock if you want to. And my first read is going to be Edmonds, the running back off to the right and on the table route, and make my progressions to Grissom and then uh, Fitzgerald. And the reason why is this table route gets really crazy separation, and it's going to force your opponent to actually defend the flats. So that's what's what's cool about it. So once again, I'm going to do the halfback wheel, leave the play stock, and as you can see right here, uh, this route is wide open. And if you, if he's in the wrong defense, you're going to be able to go ahead and uh, blow him off for some big yards, and he's going to have to start really defending those flats. Let's go ahead and see what happens now. See if a defender actually comes out. Nope. So we're just going to go ahead and check it down, take the sideline, and try to turn that puppy up. All right, so what I also like to do is I like to go ahead and take the outside wide receiver on the, on the outside Kirk and put him on a slant route. 
And the reason I do that is that it allows me to go and attack my opponent with a fast read over the middle of the field. So if he starts trying to defend the flats, you've got a way you can attack your opponent over the middle. And what this is really doing is just setting him up for the deep post over the middle against uh, that that he's going to actually have to go and defend. The deep post uh, is one of the is one of the most devastating routes in this formation. And it's going to get really good separation against any kind of a, a corner off the back inside because he's always going to have that separation. So anybody that's ran into this particular play knows they have to defend the deep post. They've got the slant. you got the table route. And if you actually pop them with, a, with an occasional corner on the back inside, you got four routes that you can attack your opponent, and he's just going to have a hell of a time stopping it. So uh, that's what I love about this uh, this uh, halfback wheel route, is that it actually allows you to attack your opponent in different areas. So nice little block shed right there uh, with, the, with the blitzing guys. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get this off one more time with a fast progression read. And the post is open right across the middle where I can pick up some pretty good yards against my opponent. So the other play is the play action fullback slide. Now the only problem with the play action fullback slide is that it does have play action animation. So sometimes you can get sucked into a blitz or into a tackle just because you're doing their play action. You can cancel it, but I do like the play action because it does pull pull defenders down. Now we're going to be looking off the left side of the field. Edmonds once again is going to be one of our major, major reads. We're going to try to hit him in the flap. We also have got Kirk coming across the middle of the field. You got Fitzgerald on the deep out route, which is up 15 yards, and then you have the deep post route. Johnson route, I'm not really too concerned about that. And when you're playing against your opponent, he's going to have to defend that table route on the halfback wheel, so he's not going to be uh, he's going to be conscious of that corner over there. Uh, he might actually have some kind of defender. So the first area of the field that you want to look to is the flat, and then make your progressions from there. So hopefully we can get uh, get a little time. That's one of the disadvantages. Uh, of uh, using, uh, play, uh, doing a, the uh, the practice mode is that occasionally you're going to get these block sheds with the CPU. But you can see right there, all I'm going to do is go ahead and check down. I'm going to look to the fullback or, or the running back route. I've got the crossing route over here, uh, which is going to be another area of the field that he's going to be looking at. I'm going to go see if we can get to that. Uh, and here is another area of the field too, is this deep crossing route right here with the tight end. So man-to-man -man coverage is going to give you an opportunity. On an island on the backhand side, you've got that deep out route and you can definitely go ahead and get a nice little completion right there. So I force that ball in there, but you'll see you'll see some situations where that, that particular route will be wide open uh, with nobody in the area like this. And if you got a nice wide receiver like Fitzgerald, he's going to come down with it, a nice 15-yard gainer. Sometimes you can rack that for some pretty good yards. So this is focusing your attack off the left-hand side, once again adding a little dimensions uh, to, uh, to your, your, uh, your scheme. Uh, making it difficult for your opponent to stop that. So you got attacking off to the right, up the middle of the field. You got attacking off to the uh, off to the left, up the middle of the field, and it's going to be very very difficult for your opponent to stop uh, that type of scheme unless he gets really good block shots like that. All right, so now here's another reason why I actually go ahead and like to incorporate scat. This is really attacking the sidelines, attacking the flats. What your opponent's going to do is he's probably going to go ahead and put um, a flat down there, maybe a like a, 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 a cloud flat, and then actually try to play the middle of the field. So if you jump in the scat, you can actually catch your, your opponent off guard with these little routes uh, underneath. So a good way to complement these routes so you can open things up is I like to go and take the running back route of Johnson and put him on an out route because what it does is actually kind of plays with the zone. See how he pulled the zone out a little bit? I can check it down to that underneath route, and it's, it's going to mess up my opponent's read. So once again, let's go ahead and see this. We're going to be looking for Fitzgerald. And right there, I'm actually going to go ahead and just try to pop that ball right in there. So uh, this is man coverage. I'm going ahead against random uh, defenses, so I don't necessarily know what the CPU is going to do against me. And right here, as you can see, uh, this guy actually fell out of zones. I'm able to go and, and, and attack him. So what's cool about this, this scheme is that you got scat, you got the halfback wheel, you got the play action uh, fullback slide, then you could do the power row, and then obviously you've got the, the inside run, uh, which is going to be uh, this fullback dive. So this really will open up your scheme. Guys, I recommend going in. If you are running with the 49ers, the Falcons, and the Cardinals, and if you don't have this as part of one of your schemes, you got to do it. This is a really great formation. And you're going to go ahead and stay tuned to my channel because you're going to see me running this game and seeing how I make reads and how I make decisions. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for support. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time.